Held hostage in her own home at Knife Point, a frantic mother came up with a very clever way to call for help. She sure did. She used a pizza ordering app to secretly get deputies to her front door. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in Avon Park tonight. This is an incredible story, Peter. It is, and good evening, Keith and Jen, and this is the Pizza Hut where that plea for help came in. A cook noticed it on a computer screen, and that led to the arrest of the woman's boyfriend. We, we've never seen that before. During the Monday afternoon shift at the Avon Park Pizza Hut... The order comes through, and she had edited her ticket. So on the bottom, it said, hostage help, and on the top, it said, get 911 help. Using the restaurant's cell phone app, the victim ordered a small hand-tossed classic pizza with pepperoni with two secret messages added. Did you think someone was playing a prank on you? No, because no. I've been here 28 years and I've never, never seen nothing like that come through. So they called 911. Highlands County deputies went to the pizza place and the address on the order. They tell me Ethan Nickerson held his girlfriend and three children hostage inside the home for most of the day while sharpening a large hunting knife. If I'm standing here with a knife in my hand and sharpening it and looking at you in a menacing way and make the statement that I'm going to kill you, you know, and I've already done some violence to you, you know, how are you going to take that message? When deputies arrived, Nickerson's girlfriend ran to them with a baby in her arms. Nickerson wouldn't come out. And his first words were, of course, I'm not coming out because I know I'm going to jail. But after some negotiations, he did come out. Summoning 911 through a pizza ordering app is a first for this agency. I don't know if I ever would have thought of it. I mean, it's just something she did so naturally, the boyfriend never knew about it until he saw it coming around the corner. The mother and her kids are safe. The father is in jail. I'm glad that everything turned out, though. I mean, it's moments like these in law enforcement, you know, that you get to help people, actually. That makes you feel good. And deputies tell me Ethan Nickerson may have been high on meth when this occurred. They tell me that the couple has a history of domestic violence, and now DCF is involved. Keith and Jen? Hey, Peter, this woman is a regular customer. Do the people at the Pizza Hut know her pretty well? Uh, they've delivered to her house many times. I wouldn't say they know her pretty well, but they knew something was wrong in this particular case, and they acted on it, and they followed through, and you saw the result. Peter Bernard, live in Avon Park tonight. Thank you, Peter, for that story.